And there were so a decent eight, amount eight, of one. six and twos that were left out also. So that's, that is unfortunate. So just to kind of highlight the differences in this, these decks. So Dustin that we see on the top is on the Lier Galvanic Iteration double copy Invoke Despair. And I believe they're the lone 8-0. Yes, they're the lone 8-0 yeah. of the tournament right now. So the double and so Invoke Despair is good in the matchup. Why don't I cast it twice? Uh, <laughs> and their opponent, uh, Sasha, which is Aspie at the bottom, two shield remain, three make disappear. Uh, any other spice? Uh, one blue sun's main. Uh, and this is the deck with the Kaido Planeswalker in the sideboard that was doing some work in uh, some earlier matches. What do you think about when someone plays the corpse appraiser and you remove it before they, before you let the opponent choose their card, do you like to wait? Well, I, don't, I don't know how, if you're, how much you're in that position. I don't, do you like to wait till after they choose their card so that they didn't know that you were able to remove it? Or do you like to remove it as soon as it hits and you get the, the choosing the cards in the stack? So with them tapped out, there's, no reason to not wait. You're just providing more information. So they might be like, okay, I don't need any more threats. I'm good in threats. Yeah. Um, if they do have mana open, then you generally do want to do it on the stack just because it gives of them course. like one less opportunity to find a counter spell of if they had, say, two mm -hmm. mana up. Um, but at this yeah, point, like is, there, is their ninth round of magic? That's true. I mean, yeah, I, I would be dead tired right now. And you know it's it's interesting. I mean, I think there's two ways to think about it. It's just I don't want them to. I'd I'd like to let them see another corpse appraiser and not take it and say, "Oh, I already got one. I'm good." You know what I mean? And then put it in the graveyard. Okay, boom. Now now I shoot it. That's that that's always kind of been my reasoning with that. All right. So we see Fable come down, on a braid in hand. So. A the thing is, even at, with this mana base right now, we're seeing the two mono color spells or lands, the legendary lands. Yeah. So even a black source off the top does not cast them. Not enough. Yep. Uh, and prioritizing taking off the goblin token means no treasure token this turn. Yep. I guess you can just go. Well, you could go for the corpse appraiser, but a make disappear in response would really hurt. I think you kind of have to force at this point. You need to hit your land drops and your two land drops away from Invoke. At the yeah. very least, you need a removal spell coming up. Invoke's far away, yeah. And if the Make Disappear, yeah, if the Make Disappear hits Corpse Appraiser, it's one less Make Disappear to hit the Invoke Despair. That's true. Yeah, they're going for it. Okay. And... Just curious. It resolved. Okay. On one done. negate. So one negate, three make disappears. They're also main boarding okay. one siphon insight, which is really, really good in this matchup. Good. Uh, I mean, you probably expect a lot of Grixis matchups but, or uh, mirrors, I should say, but equally oh. good in a tournament setting. Um, Missing on Lions, okay. three cards deep. Yeah, it's bad. Cutdown's not bad though for when that for the goblin token. Um, is the fable flipping not not this turn? The next honestly, turn. even just yeah, but with no answer to fable, yeah, I think the cutdown is. Yeah, I think you have to. Okay, I mean the goblin token. Oh, they have a go through. Okay, I was just thinking the goblin token can't attack into the corpse appraiser. Yeah, they're just gonna take out the token now. Because they don't want to get that far behind on uh, on mana. Okay. Yeah, that that miss line drops really punishing. That's tough. Yeah. Oh, ouch, man! Can't even crew. Oh, it's rough. Um, I don't even know if you wanted to crew, even if it was possible. Just loot, yeah, you, you kind of need that draw in a way. You do. Yeah, especially now. Okay. okay. 
Slam the blood tithe? Yeah. How likely is it that uh, Dustin got another invoke off that invoke? <laughs> um, it's part of the subtext. You have to draw chain invokes. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, are we going to see it? Are we going to see the 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 <laughs> Land off the top. They what? They need Land two off more the top. Rounds. Let's go. <laughs> no, just one. Oh, no, no, no. It's flashback. It's flashback. You're right. Flashback, yeah. <laughs> They're setting it up. They're setting it up. They're going to find that invoke if they don't have it already. Even just like galvanic, like double removal spell. Or uh, double yeah. siphon insight. Double of braids crazy here too. It technically clears yeah. the board, you know. Yeah. Even just that being able to ditch it to fable, so you're not really losing a card, has quite a bit of utility. Yeah. yeah. The flashback spells are underutilized. So you put that with the siphon insight. You have it just gives you good discard outlets, even if they're not creatures that you interact with it from the graveyard later, you know? Yeah. Can you hear me still? I got a little glitch on my computer. Oh yeah. No, you're good, man. I can still hear you. Okay. So there, there was the abrade. So I guess they, they didn't want to wait. They said, no, no bank buster. This is gone. So they can go for maybe you take out the fable I mean, they actually could clear the board here. Yeah, I think they're just going to do it this way. So you take out the Fable, you play the Blood Tithe, and then you either hold the removal or you just kill the Corpus Praiser now. They're going to hold it. Notably in this mirror, you also see uh, the the gamesmanship, if you will, of putting stops on main phase one and main phase two against your opponent. Just preparing. I put the upkeep stop for Shieldred, <laughs> your end of turn stop for your fable tokens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you know when Zobin Deck was, you know down. that they play, you know they play make disappear. You might as well do it because you might as well act like you always have it. Oh, another corpse praise. I feel like cool. if you're playing any sort of blue deck in open deck lists, you always just gotta play one spell pierce and just always keep one blue mana open. Why not? <laughs> Why not, man? It's like in historic, you always play white mana, one mana tithe, just to keep them honest. Mana tithe? Yeah. Okay, they oh they found right, their black coming down. Wow, let's do it. Is the make disappear? They have, priority. The they have it from the blood token. I don't know if they actually have a make disappear. Okay. Okay. But what else are we looking at on the other side? We're looking at Galvanic into Invoke Mana. Which is 12 damage. Yeah, that would be lethal. And, and uh, one untapped red is not going to counter that. Shoulder instead. Okay. Shellied. Okay. Immediately set that upkeep stop. No, too. They do have upkeep. Okay. I don't I think they're looking for maybe a counter. Now they can play around a, a galvanic make disappear, which is noteworthy. And they can slam their own shoulder. I think they're trying to see how much removal the opponents had to play the odds here. Looks like they got well. Okay, there you well, go. The last cards <laughs> always go for the throat. Your invoke <laughs> strong invoke. See, they they had the faulty invoke despair. They tried to return it. <laughs> All right, so everything's dying. Okay, fables. Uh, channeled so nice. Zen Lined is going to be the win con. <laughs> Fable is a nice consolation after you lose your shoulder, though. At least I'll say that. It makes you feel kind of safe. Holding this invoke. Ooh. Okay. Draw now and then hope that they don't slam another creature. Land's fine. Untapped land is decent. 
now you're playing around to make this appear. And you have one of your own. Noteworthy. Uh, I don't think you'd lose any. I don't think you'd ditch uh, anything. I want that yeah, seventh I think you land. Keep that land. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. I don't know if I would have done that. But I guess maybe to play a land that doesn't hurt you, I guess is a little better, but yeah, actually that's that did stop them from taking a day. Wow, and they draw the make disappear anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. Pro gamer moves. Pro gamer moves all day. All right. Okay, so they don't die to an invoke right now. That's bad, because here comes a shouldered. But you could you could casualty your, yeah, your token. By you the have, oh, they're gonna do a corpse. Yeah, you, I mean you're you're gonna have to casualty. I don't think you can give them that extra card. Yeah. You're not attack, you're not swinging into it anyway. So you might as well just not let it happen. Yeah. Both players just uh top decking haymakers one after the other, but yeah, this is this is pretty good. All right, empty handed versus yeah. two lands. It's yeah, it's close. I I think. Oh well, I mean, go get your shouldered, drop it. Do they have corpse praiser in the yard? I. I mean, so there's actually some utility. Actually, no, corpse praiser could only target creatures. I was gonna say there's some utility in. Uh, uh, they milled an invoke. Picking off the galvanic. <laughs> Invoke was the next card. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm slamming that shoulder all day. Yep. Make them beat you, dude. The thing is with Galvanic, like even though they only have one card in hand, they need two removal spells, and that's what Galvanic uh -oh. potentially provide. Uh -oh. Is this the invoke win? Oh, oh! my goodness. <laughs> all right, but hold on, because no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wow. Wow. Yeah, reflection gets picked off because it's an enchantment. All right, so yeah, curious how this I matchup is just... sideboard if Kaido is something you bring in. Oh, boy. See, negates. Probably the strokes, too. The interesting thing is with Lier. Lier does shut off stroke from hitting... Uh, the oh, you're right. You're right. So they know if they, if they're gonna keep Lear in the after sideboarding, there's no point in bringing in Stroke. Basically, kind of shuts you out. This is another interesting one of mind game thing, right? Like Lear individually yeah. is kind of bad. Yeah. But it also like, do they board in on license Hearse now, and then have a card that's kind of mid in the matchup? It's tough. Yeah, because you're oh, yeah, so Kazen. Yeah. Cause now you're I mean I don't know. You're you're definitely thinking twice. And you know Dustin gets to sit over there and like not have these hard decisions. <laughs> you know what I mean? So huge advantage to Dustin already being up a game and like I mean, watch, we're gonna we're gonna come out of here and Dustin's gonna be done sideboarding. 59 what's the 60th card so notably taking out a go for the throat the cut downs came out parasitic grasps not really good worth it okay so we're seeing kaido's There's coming kaido. very interesting to see the corpse appraiser trim down i guess post board yeah. there's not too many creatures in this matchup that's true especially so three mana, maybe three person three. going on the draw a little maybe more removal less creatures when you're on the draw Go a little more controlly. The corpse appraisers also have like a weird. Uh, the corpse appraisers lead to more corpse appraisers. Like if you kill their corpse appraiser, then your corpse appraiser comes down and eats theirs. So it's like a weird dance. Yeah, I, I know. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's like a, a weird back and forth kind of thing, and like who can get one on there first and things like that. All right, my my Discord's going go uh, is is all hyped up that Josiel's in the top eight with Rakdos. There's a big contingent of Rakdos enjoyers, and uh, they're all rooting them on. 
you love to see it, man. That's I mean, Rakdos is probably about my at this point, like my second favorite after uh after um mono black, you know what I mean? Because a lot of Rakdos is just mono black with a couple red spells, at least these days. Mono rack, uh, mono black with some uh, Bobby Nix. You got some fables. Yeah, just solid cards, you know. Play your Brotherhood's End in there to get like a like a small right. board wipe before your other stuff. So yeah, there's definitely options. Um, basically, yeah, you you might as well do this because otherwise you're just gonna lose it. So you might as well, yeah. That's the only not uh non land non creature. So you might as well trick. cast it. Yeah, because now okay, no, you may not they, see my. They could have paid you know? for it. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Now you're like, do I play this Shouldered? Probably don't. No There's creatures have in the it, yard. It's the rest I'm, I'm putting my my stops on main one and main two, and I'm not casting that Shouldered. I don't trust it. Nope. Yeah. See, I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope. I guess the flip side is it does give you a target for Corpse Praiser. Generally, so, ooh, uh, that duress is painful. Jeez. Down to five cards, notably. Did they? Did, no, okay. Dustin hit the land drop too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But now there is a creature in the bin, so that's something. Um, do you want? Do you want the? Ne do you want I, the I duress? The duress. They have, I like the, the duress because they probably have an invoke at this point. They they both serve to get rid of a, a an invoke. The negate has the utility that even if they haven't drawn it yet, but the duress does yeah. provide some information just even what they have in hand. Yeah, I might just go for the duress now, but I'm not sure. It's kind of a it's kind of fifty fifty there. Shieldred's weird in this matchup. Like, if it goes unchecked, it wins the game on its own. But there's so much removal. There's yeah, a lot of good removal. Seems people always have a go for the throat when a shoulder hits. Definitely a decision. I would like to know what those three cards are personally. They know that two of yours are lands, <laughs> so you might as well, might as well find out what they got going on. That's an oh. interesting. Okay, I think that would have been the last choice I would have made. I just Unless can't fathom get getting something that's not, that's not that's there. That, yeah, I can't imagine getting something that isn't playable. Okay, you top deck, you're in the gate. <laughs> They're happy about that. <laughs> so they want to swing in. Okay. And still not casting the Twilight, so line there. They're, they're waiting to take a Shouldred, I guess. No, uh, Twilight for X5 lets you double the, the spell, make a copy. Oh. Uh, you probably definitely negate that. Because at the very least, it gets them to tap out, then you can gain control, make two Fables. Yeah. Can Twilight take the enchantment as well? Or is it just artifacts and creatures? It's any non-line permit. Any oh, non-line okay. permit. Okay, so yeah, you could take a fable. Or you could just not give them a fable. It's kind of interesting. Because a lot of times fable is typically better when for the person who resolves it first. So you're still letting them get a fable before you which technically puts you behind and you're the one who's on the play. So you should be figuring out how to be ahead. Yeah. Kind of not terrible here. The thing too is, oh. uh, oh. it's a little difficult to tell priority right now with uh, two open mana. The bank buster is always going to give some priority. So you can't That's even true. tell, you know, did they have a counter spell in that spot to fight? It ended up that yeah. they did have the negate. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. Mm. All right, they want to draw. You get your land, so do you just take yeah, their fable now? I think I would have. 
because you have five. Yeah, but they t- they lost three mana, so they don't get the copy. Oh, I see. Okay, so maybe next turn. Like, I think at that point, you almost jam, right? They have one card left. Like, at least before the Fable, like, does it flip? Yeah. Or, like, does it I'm gonna, I'm gonna Is it going to have a higher likelihood? Because now you're seeing some snowballing with the deck. No crew on the no bank booster, no so Valuing the... Oh, jeez. If you take a flipped fable, it does it oh they want to take that. Um you're not gonna get the ETB though. Oh wait, yeah, you are because you're gonna make a token of it. Okay. I guess at this point just digging. Oh, oh <laughs> five head gamer Tooking, taking the riskier line. <laughs> I think I go oh, I for the fable it. with the loot effect. You got to get rid of these lines from hand. Yeah. I think that was the slightly greedy play. Slightly greedy play. Um, Because you're only getting one. One of those is going to give you the ETB. So I don't know, man. That's rough. check it none of the other matches have finished yet wow and this is just the first match of top eight this is pretty this has been a pretty good pretty good match so far all right well they're not going to get double invoked at least from the graveyard this turn the downside (laughs) is uh we have kiki twin going off next turn yeah and equally um they just have the straight up mana to cast it as it is anyway. So, so what is this? Ten across, just eight. Okay, because you, you don't need to fully tap out because you're gonna hit them anyway. I think they want to copy a fable on the end step. So basically, for those folks who haven't seen fable on your opponent's end step can copy another copy of the fable and then that fable because it gets haste can copy another fable and then that fable can copy another fable and then because the, you've already passed your end step they don't go away until your your next end step so effectively exactly. if you have in this case four five six eleven mana you can make an eleven two twos which is uh just a little bit more than lethal at this point <laughs> yeah and they're opting to Ottawa. I think they're just going they're through just the motions here. See the writing yeah. on the wall. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hollywood Pizza does three tournaments a month hosted on the channel. There's a ton of great folks behind the scenes, uh, making sure everything goes smoothly, getting everybody together. Uh, this tournament had a cap of 128, but had was close to 300 people registered for. So there's a lot of popularity on these tournaments. Uh, So if you are interested, they're all free to play, cash prizes. You could join um, for any of the upcoming tournaments. They're standard and explore depending on week to week tournament. Uh, If you haven't done so, hit that follow button on uh, Twitch. Uh, It lets you know whenever Hollywood goes live, either with the tournaments or just through regular streaming. And if you haven't done so, if you you have an Amazon Prime hanging around, it is free to subscribe. Uh, with Amazon Prime, uh, throws a couple bucks Hollywood side. This is all done uh, out of pocket, out of his own time. So it helps out to keep these tournament series going to bring you a fresh look of standard. So we're jumping into it. Grixis versus Mono White. Numbskull, who you got in this? Juggernauts. Oh, man. I, I might have to give this to Mono White because... The invokes are not that good against mono white. They put too many things on the board for the invokes to matter the way that they need to matter for uh, Dustin to win. So I, I think I go, I, I think yeah. I'm, you know, uh, I think I'm, I'm looking at, at, uh, 
Killy here, but we will see. Nobody's beaten Dustin yet. So I think if any gamer still left can do it, can take down Mono White, it is Dustin. Dustin has refused to lose today. Just yeah. double casting invokes. So Dustin's here to say, you know what? One invoke isn't good enough. What if I cast two? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we actually could be looking at so a turn four invoke, invoke here. coming down as of this. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good start. We'll have Fable Flip next turn. Yeah. So Naked Paragon's not the best in a hand. That's likely six cards. You have to assume at least one of those is a kill spell. Mind you, a Braid doesn't hit it. Cut Down doesn't hit it. But we're opting for just the draw this turn. Okay. Coin the safe route. There's, there's Morn. So this <clears throat> shuts down Corpse Appraiser. But outside mm -hmm. of that, Shield your doesn't care about it. I actually Blood Tithe Harvester stops the blood token. Yeah. And it feels like a lot of the well, you can't stop that, but it feels like a lot of the strong things. Oh, Laden Arms is great. A lot of the strong creatures that you can copy in the Grixis matchup, they all have ETB effects, and Ella Snorn kind of shuts down all that, you know. I would say that. that's, that's that noteworthy. That was a hell of a top deck. Yeah. And I guess they're thinking maybe do I want to counter it? So that or do pause I could wait? be. Yeah. I, I think a wedding's okay here. Good protection against Invoke if they have another one. Yeah. Especially when you have two weddings, you know? Starting next turn. You can get some value off Sarah Paragon. Uh, you at least if it resolves, you'd have priority. So even if they kill the Paragon, you'd have a chance to like block with a Spirited Companion this turn. Okay. Sure. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. That's Maybe probably right. Uh, I wonder. I guess they could still have Invoke, and they just want to tax more life if they do have it. Um. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they'll, they'll definitely be able to cast it now. And like you said, they do block because maybe the game plan is just go Paragon into into uh, Doggo. That hurts a little bit. Okay. Playing around to make it disappear for the Paragon, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind ca doing a casualty on the other for it. Okay, slam the companion. Now do you counter? No. The ossifications okay. are really awkward in this matchup because like you want to target almost a token because just getting clipped by invoke despair feels bad enough if you give them back a reflections. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you're when you're when your uh, wedding announcements are not resolving, it's makes it kind of tough. That's a scary sign as the opposing player when they decide that Fable the Mirror Breaker is the worst card in my hand. Let me discard that to big score. <laughs> Here comes the invoke. Invoke would be lethal, so that's noteworthy. Looks like they don't have it, though. Okay. Okay. Still lethal if they do have it, just no no board presence, but oh actually no, they're gonna they gain two life from that because of the paragon. Is. That helps a little bit. Mm, good go. But it's not looking good. So yeah, this mono white deck's on no actually, sweepers main board. You could do a double ossification here because of Ellis Norn. That's kind of that's something. It's not nothing. <laughs> I think what you were saying, take the token and take the blood tithe. Because the fable doesn't do much, right? I now. actually think at this state, no, I think you do take the the, the fable, fable here. Okay. Just because 
blood tithe on its own you know they only have one blood they can't cast another blood tithe harvester here um and fable still a couple turns even if they get it back for it to be able to attack okay yeah you're right that's that, that's completely reasonable because what you don't want nice uh, i guess corpse appraiser is not really an issue not right now no okay there's Lear. so oh. invoke next turn that's what that means <laughs> And they could do. What do they have? They have a braid. And do they have a go for the throat in the bin? Go for the throat. Yeah, yeah they got. Geez. They got nothing but answers here. They're doing a big score. So that's so free savage. cast, big score could. Yeah. Go for the throat. Oh, Notably, boy. the make disappear. Uh, Lier shuts off the ability to to have uh, non creature spells countered. I think that's going to do it. I guess you could you could take the leer, which cuts off the invoke, which is noteworthy, and then you play your yeah okay. You, oh, you play both. Okay, sure. We'll see. This insulates against another invoke. Yeah. So even galvanic invoke here doesn't actually mm -hmm. kill them because of the creature enchantment, creature enchantment. Yeah, they would only lose what? They would lose four life on, off that. Did they f <clears throat> yeah, did they find the AO? That would be a legit pull. Loki stealing yeah. stealing their Elish Norn, shutting off everything of their deck. I I wouldn't mind that. How many Norns uh do we have uh Ulysses or who is it? Just uh, just the one. Just the one? Okay, gotcha. Just one. They were only oh, able to crack one box open. They they didn't have that much. I mean, <laughs> wedding announcements one of the best cards. cards against these red black decks. Oh, absolutely. Here come three creatures. Rare, mythic, in this economy. <laughs> Siphon inside again, because why not? Could have been done on the draw step too, but okay. So digging. Okay, you're getting your ETB so now. Probably and looking. The Elish Norn is officially removed from the game altogether. So that's noteworthy. So at this point, there's three in books in the deck. The siphon's out. Probably trying to dig for oh, that okay. shield dredge because at this current composition, these fables are going to make all these creatures really large. And then uh, Siphon, there's one card that's currently there. I feel like if they hit AO, they would have played it. I agree. These wedding announcements also do a nice job of insulating... Um, the ossifications from Invoke Despair, what we were speaking about earlier, yeah. where, you know, giving them back like a Lear, but these tides and are turning kinda, quick. And you're, and you're kind of lacking targeted enchantment removal with the Invokes. You know, it's not like like white that has, uh, you know, like destroy evil, things like that. There really isn't a lot that allows you to target an enchantment within Grixis. So definitely noteworthy there you have three enchantments to get through before you can try to hit one of the ossifications okay their card was a land that was what they had from the siphon they're closer to casting a traxa now they just need to go to this the, their lgs buy one slip it in their deck <laughs> yeah i mean all the treasures they have, it's almost surprised a little bit surprising that they don't, but I think they they wanted the deck to do a different thing. All right. So a braid target bank buster, draw you a bank buster. <laughs> yeah, you can I mean you can just start swinging here. It's not like uh, the other land's unfortunate, but just swing out, put fifteen across. Well, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Okay. 
Yeah, you can't swing out, but you can swing for enough for enough to draw a card at least. They're gonna eat it. Okay. So that other one is flipping now too, yeah? Oh, wow. Wow. Man, Mono White is like, you think they have like the knockout punch and then, you know, they're down to five and you just can't get through for anything after that. Takanuma's pretty big there. Finds that Shieldred. I do like Finds the Takanuma. Yeah, I do like that. Now, notably, One, two, three. yeah, they can cast it. Chance at that because of ossification in hand. Well, they have ossification in hand, so uh, two damage yeah. is still two damage at this point. Yeah, yeah, it helps for sure. And you could filter with that uh, that blood token and gain yourself two extra life as well. Let's see if they do it. Nope. Okay. So opting to keep the card in hand. They either like that card or... Ooh, that's a decent draw. They either like that card or they... So the notable uh, thing... Don't want to lose the treasure. So Galvanic and Invoke the Spirit is lethal here. However, like it's lethal oh, okay. on the surface value fate, or face value. Yeah. Yeah, um, but in uh, the Wandering Emperor can sneak in can here. Push at one, and you know what else is crazy that you know we don't think about the value here is that a uh, an Emperor token's a five five vigilance right now. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty intimidating. Okay, Dustin's probably just smashing their keyboard. There are twenty one <laughs> cards left in the library. One invoke despair. Just looking. Yeah, they play four in the deck. Oh, geez. And we haven't seen a Galvanic yet, have we? No. In this and not even flipped over. Like at this <laughs> point, like Dustin graveyard. has seen has, as many basic planes. Uh, oh, that's. Yeah. Okay. I don't mind this. Literally, he was going to make a 5 5. You have, to, little... you have to counter that. Yeah. So you're no, trading the blocker for the planeswalker. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose that blocker anyway when you try to block the 5-5. Five, five. So you might as well get rid of it. Yeah. So despite four creatures on board, it still doesn't have Coven. However, they can uh, yeah. with the Bank Buster to have it. Well, they would still... Oh, because they're going to make one. Well, no, they're all 4 fours. <laughs> no, but the... Um... Oh, no, you're right. I was thinking that too, and I was like, wait, everything's a four. They're, four. Out, so. they're all base at one one. Now they're just going in. Like, all right, let's 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 do this. Force the issue. You have to block well, at least one. They're gonna have to settle with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. So this is uh if you're gonna draw something this is where you do it. Galvanic is lethal. <laughs> We've seen it once. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, it's, six. They, they still have still enough. Have to do enough it. They have enough. They have enough. So, what might be a little bit of an issue? Um, they should have tapped the planes to cycle. It might have screwed them yeah, up. Kind of is there a pain land in there now, or are they just? Oh boy, are we doing it? No. <laughs> are they we doing it, Joe? The treasure. Are we doing it? Stop it. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god it's, this is dustin's day man stop it killing oh. was one mana off from the eternal wander to save their board oh my god dude <laughs> you know what to go 9-0 to go one game away from 10-0 you, you better be lucky than good sometimes <laughs> Yeah, you better be really good, but you need a equal parts luck, if not more. Wow. Feels like uh, 
every it's time we've turn we've a wander covered, come out every time we, we cover their game they uh they 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 hit that <laughs> to end it so i don't, I don't know how so, I, don't, I wonder how many times they've done that today for lethal i i kind of like stone brain in this matchup like you're gonna lose to the invokes their creatures aren't stone really in the invokes why not why not like I at this point nod. what are you for like you yeah yeah no I you totally registered agree. stone brain i uh I run Necromentia for the because all these um creativity matchups after the 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 uh pro tour. Just run Necromentia, take them all. Yeah. They usually scoop whenever you take it on turn three. All right, so we're seeing sideboarding, just seeing if there's any other choices. So we've seen the uh, second Elish Norn come in, getting rid of some of the incidental cards, uh, Cathar Commando, the Phyrexian Vindicator. This isn't the matchup for it. That's more the yeah. mono-red matchup. Agreed. Notably a one-of in the sideboard too, I believe. If you're mono red and that card comes down, you just you go to the top right corner, you choose a little screw <laughs> icon, and you pretty much concede. That or obliterator, way any of the, it, yeah, any of those Phyrexian horrors, they're just like, all right, well, that's it. So it's been it's been real. All right, so okay. both players taking their time. I actually like slamming wedding announcement here. Um, I think you're they right. They don't have the mana up right now. And the faster you get announcement going, uh, the two twos block a lot better than the one ones. Yeah. Or do you go a Gonjo, wait for them to play something, and discard the ossification to the Gonjo, and then take whatever they drop for free? I think that might be the route they're going here. Yeah. You, I just think with the one for... spell in hand, I may want to prioritize Shieldred. That 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 is reasonable. So, oh, no creature to take, so no value. Zero value there. I don't know if I I don't know if I even take that with ossification because I don't want them to get rid of the enchantment and then there is a creature by the time they do that. Do you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna ditch the 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 yeah, dog over. Right <clears throat> yep. Yeah, and Killy similar sentiment. And we'll okay. see if they opt to go wedding announcement here. I think I like emperor because next turn you have five mana you can yeah. double spell yeah and you have you have two so even if one gets countered i'm not terribly mad if that happens not to mention only having one blue mana it's, and no you know. okay resolves wait and at this point with creatures out oh they like never that, attacked priority can be a number of things yeah absolutely I didn't real. I thought they attacked. I didn't even realize that they didn't. Uh, I mean, it's technically the smart play not going into four open mana. So that and I guess came they could, down uh, fairly quickly. Yeah. Um. So I'm just checking now because I think out of this Grixis deck, they have Gixis Command which could sweep up the board. So opting to go with the plus here. Uh, give me one sec. No, I'm just going. Sure. Looks like... Uh, you get to see the high-tech green screen setup that we have here. That's beautiful. My green screen is my, my graphics card, so don't worry. <laughs> I don't even have one. <laughs> I bought this and it's just slightly too big for the desk area. So it hits on the side <laughs> of the hill. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, okay. They hit a big score. Hit the go for the throat. Decent. Okay. I don't love the hand for uh, Killy. Like it's, it's not terrible, but it's not like, 
incredibly transformative, you know? So valuing the extra no card card? over keeping the corpse appraiser around. Yeah. So they could have just invoked kept the appraiser, but realizing this matchup is going to be the main phase emperor. So exposing it to an invoke. Yeah. Wow. And notably, this roadside reliquary can't do anything. Yeah, maybe you hit an ossification target and then you can get a card off it. Still kind of feels bad though. <clears throat> Fable, so Fable and Blood Tithe both pinned. So something better than a Fable and a Blood Tithe. Laydown's pretty good here. Laydown gives you access to remove one of these. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know. Do you want to do an ossification on the on the Blood Tithe? Probably. So the benefit of doing it is you effectively get to cycle your roadside reliquary because you'd have the enchantment. Yeah, that, that's that's why I'm thinking it's like it's decent right here. If you had some other action besides the ossification, I would say, all right, well, you know, maybe you wait. But there's no other action right now. So it's, I feel like this is that's like the best way. Oh, my. Wow. Cast, casting invokes mm. the hard way. Just just five mana, not even doubling Slam it up. It, dude. Yep. Just keeping that board nice and Times clear. Tough. You can't cast ossification if I if all I do is play invokes. <laughs> I mean it's it's getting to a point so where Killy getting cast. another point. Okay, yeah, it's I'll thin it out some more, I guess. I guess if you really wanted to, you could take their blood token with ossification. <laughs> All right. Galvanic, do we have the next invoke to spare? All right. Draw five, deal 10, kill your creature. Seven mana. Wow. wow. Every time. Every time. Unreal. All right, so uh, Killy needs to cast Approach the Second Sun into naturally draw <laughs> oh. their second Approach the Second Sun. This is a halfway decent top deck, I'm not going to lie. Just go pry Sarah Paragon, slam that wedding announcement. And notably that it was the third Invoke Despair. Okay, good to know. They do, they do have Galvanic, and I wonder if they drew the next copy. Because that would be yeah, so they would they would have that. Um, maybe Lear comes down if they kept Lear in. We'll see. So when this wedding announcement goes away, it will give them access to some this life. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how they wanted to play it. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess Liliana maybe gets hit by ossification next turn then. If they don't play anything else. Or maybe you just hold your lands and say, I don't care about plus one. Yeah, but I feel as the, the other side of things after getting hit by four invoke despairs in a game. Yeah. So the other match is still going on. Um, okay. I don't want to bother the player. Well, they're playing, but we can potentially go jump over after this match. Oh, Galvanic, uh -oh. is it happening? Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's still a that's still a crazy a crazy thing though. Is is a double big score because they're one off from Galvanic again into an invoke. I 
I feel at this point, Dustin's just trying to find a way to close this game up. Yeah. Like they might have trimmed down on actual win conditions. <laughs> Fable, because why? Because at this point, we've seen like a number of the blood ties and stuff. Yeah. I feel like it'd be fitting for Liliana Ultimate after, you know, you've blown up everything else they hold dear. Let's blow up some lands. I like that. Yeah, let's let's cut the lands in half. Looking for so a I actually way don't out. Mind ossification on the token here. Yeah, that sounds fine. All right, and oh. the way out is to concede. <laughs> Looking for the latest comic book to add to your collection? How about the last card for that Magic the Gathering Commander deck? Well, the comic book stores got you covered. Shop online at comicbookstore.tcgplayerpro.com or come in person at 30 North Main Street, Glassboro, New Jersey. This video is brought to you by MagicJank.com, the spiciest cards for your sauciest decks. Buy and sell Magic the Gathering products and gear today on MagicJank.com. Pizza people, are you enjoying the content? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Hit that bell icon as well. That way, anytime any of our new content comes out, you're able to see it right away. Hey, leave a comment down below as well. Tell us what you're going to play in the next event. Or tell us what you're enjoying about the video. Don't forget, check out the description too. We've got tons of great content down below. And on top of that, we're going to have our tournament schedule too. So get in on it. Hope to see you. Uh, and if you can't actually, I'm going to just do a kind of a pitch. Uh, my goal is to hit 10,000 YouTube subs by June. Um, we are there, closing guys? in on 8,000. So if you can, uh, greatly appreciate it. Costs you nothing on YouTube. And uh, it'd be kind of a cool... Uh, accomplishment to hit there so enough pandering let's get to some action some finals uh, <laughs> these players are playing for that sweet sweet cash money uh we are going to just view everything in units of atraxa so uh this tournament will pay out at least a couple of atraxas in cash two or three i don't even know what it's worth anymore uh it was nice 59 dollars canadian oh you see what Dustin's setting up already for us? He's got the All pieces. Right, so he just Mono needs White's done nothing, and yeah, Dustin's okay. like, I'm, I'm gonna get going. Something. And they missed a land drop too, notably. So, I think you go Fable here. Shieldred, Ooh, slamming the Shieldred. All right, I think I'm going Fable just because. Uh, I, I can set up that invoke a little quicker, the Galvanic invoke. But it also feels like maybe they're Wait, not able to remove. They did miss a line oh. drop. Yeah, because yeah. they they hit the ossification there, and you know at least with laydown, mm -hmm. so they ended up Ooh. having it all. But laydown okay. would have been at least an extra turn after that. Yeah. Yeah, that just kind of played out really nicely for them probably the, the best way to miss those land drops but i mean now you're talking about having the invoke come down <clears throat> and we might see just uh an invoke to refill the hand also just mm -hmm. hitting that ossification so there are two ossifications yeah. so they're going to get blood tithe harvester i highly in doubt they'll <laughs> give him the shieldred i hope they get a blood tithe We might actually see the blood token cycled here to put Galvanic in the graveyard just to try to hit those line drops. Yeah. However, the Fable draw discard also has some utility. There's the land, so we'll see if they want to ditch the... I, I almost wonder if you don't want to let them know that you have None. it at this point, you know? Yeah. So... If they wait till next turn to do the invoke, which it looks like they're doing, they're going to be able to galvanic it if that goblin stays out. Or if they find another land next turn. I wonder if they... Oh, I see okay. The Emperor. The Emperor. Yeah. okay. 
So you can now this is noteworthy. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it after they maybe try to plus next turn? For the go for the throat. Or do you not even care about that token? I think you wait for now. You're at twenty two life. You're not under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Because if the follow up plays like Sarah okay, Paragon. Mm-hmm. Okay, so wedding protects the ossification, but I mean, maybe you just give him back a blood tithe instead of the other. Uh, yeah. We might actually see the trade here. I'll take the... Okay, I, I might take that trade. You're probably going to get another blood tithe back, so why not just... You know, it is a galvanic. Oh, so the line might be. Oh man. Oh boy. All right. Get rid of the two-two, or do you swing out? Just swing out. Yeah. 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 You're dealing at least six sweet. damage. Yeah. Or. Oh, they want to. They want to get another card, perhaps. Okay. Could be. So they're going to lose two enchantments, up okay. to two creatures, one planeswalker. So guaranteed one card draw. And the loss of at least two life. Uh, that number can vary, and uh, we're going to see a crew here. Okay. You think you keep your bankbuster then? Or you sack that. I think this is a uh, game two. <laughs> <laughs> Your opponents, so you need farewell, but with farewell, I guess farewell gets you out of it, but I don't think Mike is. Oh my god, they drew another, it is another invoke. The one card was another invoke. <laughs> this is insane, dude. I don't if know if they're Dustin, unfair well, mate. If, you, if you're Dustin, after you win this, don't play arena out of the rest of the day. You've all your luck is happening right now. No, no. Dustin is gonna go to the comic book store, Chino. official okay. sponsor of this uh, stream. <laughs> in order for extended special edition foil invoke despairs <laughs> yeah okay this is well i mean they just play another invoke and it feels terrible <laughs> it really feels terrible oh no you have a three three and you're yeah. dead <laughs> yeah sadly the cliffs actually it, it doesn't matter no they, they just have lethal yep that's it because they go to five and they can't crew. Well, no, they could crew. They could crew and sack it still. So I see what they're going to do. They're going to... Well, no, because the blood tithe is just going to minus... Oh, they didn't even crew. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, shield your back. Oh, no, no. They didn't die because they had a... Well, now you just die on the upkeep? Probably. Yep. Wow. It's Grixis deck, man. Doing all the right things. <clears throat> and they do the they do the zoomed in sideboarding too. Uh also uh what do you call them? Um, what do you call them? Vertical gamer. I I don't know how you build decks on arena. I do the horizontal. I like to see all the cards. Yeah. So Dustin team vertical. all day has only lost five games, not matches, games of magic. And has Dustin played has what? Played now this is 11 matches of magic. <laughs> and have lost five games all day. That's impressive. They have played nothing but red, black, X decks and mono white all day. <laughs>
Dustin's built different, man. Sweepers come in. So we're going to assume there'll be a Fable on two into Galvanic and Invoke Despair. You think this is a 2 0? Or do we have Stone Brain Gamers? We said, yeah, we did. We saw the Stone Brain the last time. Yeah, we did. You're right. We did. We did. I think they had two, if I'm not mistaken. One. Oh, just one? Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Nope, this one's two. Sorry. The other mono white was one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to refresh the rounds. Two is nice. Make sure you actually draw it. You know? Hmm. Interesting hand. A uh, little slow, and they're they don't care. Oh, okay. Well, then you draw into a fable, and you're 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 just golden magically. <clears throat> okay, scroll well, five. Okay, at that's, this point, that's... why are you doting Dustin? Oh, I'm poison. I'm not. I'm I'm marveling at at uh -huh. his uh at his. You know what I mean? Like his just. No, no, no cares given. Now this fable will ditch the two cards and set up for an invoke that'll chain into another land and an invoke. <laughs> Lauren okay, is a nice one. fable. Okay, Lauren's decent. Yeah. Uh, probably no attack. Yeah. All right. I mean, this doesn't look as good now. You know. But I think they, they might want to slam a shouldered here. Which land into lay down kind of arms. Awkward is... hitting that bl black leaf cliffs just feels so bad there. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're thinking about it. they want to yeah, they just want to slam the shouldered. I don't think I blame them. Now what hurts is a, a planes and a also, lay down at arms. this point. That hurts. Worth noting uh no blue mana for Dustin. We might yeah. have them. Yeah, that was the one thing. And I think that's why they hesitated. Um, they wanted to see if they wanted to hold up the make disappear and maybe the go for the throat. Because yeah, now they're on two. That yeah, it's gonna flip. I mean, they need Nobody. now you need like a brotherhood's end kind of thing. I don't even know if they play that, but <clears throat> yeah, they brought in two. They look like okay. and they're gonna blow it up the reliquary. We did pretty see quick uh... <clears throat> I the notable that, thing here, after this attack, they will be corrupted. So the yeah. the mites have life, life link. link. And the mites are artifacts, correct? Correct. So that makes wow. This is just a wow. I don't. I don't really see a way out now. Two missed line drops. Getting rid yeah. of an invoke looks like. Oh. Brutal. No sweeper. Here's your blue source. You can cast a go for the throat yes. and still die. Well, you wouldn't die, but they have a braid as good. well. Yeah. Is that, that the third ossification? I think so, yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, because the others are artifacts. You actually can't. You actually can't uh, hit the hit those guys. Oh, and oh lethal Emperor. Emperor Lethal. Okay, okay. Oh, he's making it a game here. <clears throat> Not going down without a fight. I wouldn't mind seeing duress personally. A lot of their creatures, incidentally, come from like sagas or um, yeah. wedding announcements, stuff like that. It's kind of like when right. I play Burn in Historic, how I just incidentally get hit by uh, Dovin's Veto all the time. Oh my god, I hate that card. Okay, so... A reactive hand to make disappear is a little bit of an awkward Two one. Under. The starter, but yeah, 
Okay. Let's see what they uh One see more line that locks the hand. Okay. I'll probably slam the lounge here. Yeah, I think that's all right. There's the companion, which is like whatever. No scrolls hive. Yeah. yeah. Dustin's just drawing lines as needed. Next turn, Three black horses make this turn appear is the and breed. Yep. Yeah. Or can just invoke. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think I might. Oh, there. Uh, I might just play the cliffs tapped so that I have the invoke for next turn. I think that's what I like right here. See, I almost like uh, just a braid and hold, have make disappear. Okay. I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, both are good. <clears throat> banking on drawing the land. Or I guess if you really need to, you just do a Brotherhood's End next turn to clear your path for the end. Well, okay, there's your. So four open. Are we thinking Emperor Mana? Uh, no Emperor. Most likely. So it's just... No Emperor. Uh, they well, they could still have. Huh? They could have flashed it. Okay. Now you're like fully reactive, though. Maybe, uh, maybe Mono White is too. Okay. That's a, a good one to stick. Yeah. You have to give him the hive. Maybe you counter the next thing. No, that's actually so. Ossification nope. aggressively <laughs> played, and the negate yeah. is the next card on top. Yeah, that's 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 a little rough. The nice thing is you could take a couple hits, um, and then just Brotherhood's end. True. Oh, the flood! Not the flood. <clears throat> Surprised to not see lions being held at this point, just in case of fables drawn. Yeah. Second scroll hive. Yeah. yeah it's well, you can it. answer their board. You, that's just a lot of value. Because mm -hmm. that almost forces your hand to sweep this turn. The Reliquary. So the nice thing is Reliquary and Sc Skrull Hive self-enables the Reliquary for to draw two since it produces artifact tokens. That's, that's, that's actually a really good point, yeah. And from Mike's side, they can just kind of hold off. Like, you, you're not really Ooh. forced to commit. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's a really good target for Make Disappear. I think they're thinking they want an Edict, but I think you actually save Edict for a Planeswalker in this situation. Yeah. Or at the very least, because the thing is, the Warden's going to replace itself. Mm hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to give them ETB. Yeah. And I think at this point, they should be holding the lines. Because if they draw a Fable, they're going to feel bad. I think you're right. Because the problem is they both need Galvanic and Invoke at this point, and they were already set up to have the mana. I guess... Oh. Uh-oh. The brain is coming down. Are you calling Invoke? Oh, no. Well, they named Why it against Rakdos. You're definitely naming it a... No. Yep, there it is. A braiding a one one might doesn't feel the greatest. We might see the reliquary pop here. No, is reliquary three. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, two and tap it. So yeah. Okay, kind of a top deck war here.
Ouch. Just all reaction. The finals down to one. They're doing so it. I'm surprised they didn't do this in upkeep before the second token because now they're going to take the hit here. Yeah, now they can just do the one that's not. They can just sacrifice the one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a. We're, we're getting our money's there. worth. Yeah, we really are. This is good. And, uh, oh, Shelly. Uh oh. Do we think that the, the Grixis Invoke Gamer gets taken out by poison? Is that the fitting end? At this rate, the life's no not more, gonna get them the poison might. With no more invokes, is that is that a thing? Oh uh, man. Oh, is that what's about to happen we, right now? Mike's Mike's done like nothing like for the last few turns. So you gotta figure like their hand had some responsive elements. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're they're both waiting to top deck stuff, you know. Okay, yeah. I mean, getting stone brain was just one of the worst things that's ever happened. Okay, I keep like counting invoke man at this still, point, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so saying, mm. huge Nothing. pocket alliance. Oh, that's unfortunate. That might be it right there. At this point, just, like that might do it. I don't think like a lay down arms or something. So what you go to six? I don't think Dustin can actually push through damage oh, here. Me either. Like nah. they could keep answering the board, but the board just keeps coming back. Yeah. My cat's freaking out. She wants them to hurry up and finish the game. <laughs> oh boy! The flying, flying poison. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna mash. They're just gonna space bar it out, dude. <laughs> space bar it out. Do it. And then give give the one don't one. On on. We uh, don't. Well, whatever. We didn't we need don't that. Want normal whatever. damage. Yeah, <laughs> we want this to be a poison death. All right, so what, you go to eight now? Eight poison. Are they actually in line to get the double lethal? They can get double lethal. Wow. 10 poison, 20 damage. Wow. This is kind of impressive. Brotherhood Zen doesn't do it. You got to ditch the Galvanic. Uh, Brotherhoods, Galvanic, Galvanic Brotherhoods, Galvanic Brotherhoods oh, does do it. Oh my goodness! One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh my god, his top decks have just been. I guess I'm still swinging, right? Oh no, no, no! You you could let him gain life if they if they trade. No, they can't block, so he missed three damage. Oh yeah, matters, no, but... you're right. Yeah, yeah, he did miss three. Yeah, the, those. Those tokens cannot block. Is it too little too late? Because that's that you can't deal with the hive still. Lauren takes out one of your treasures. They can crew right now for to get Spells you four. Yeah, you're going to Spell four. Spellside's just carrying this game. It really, yeah. I mean, if you stone brain the invokes and that's your only enchantment removal, and you don't have that many creatures, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, we'll see what uh, Dustin this gets. The smoothest, but... biggest brain against Dustin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess not invoke despair. Yeah, sadly will not be an invoke. There's an abrade. You probably got to abrade the... Uh, okay, I, I just think it... Yeah. All right. Doesn't matter. Man, Dustin... Dustin won the whole tournament. Oh, was taken man. down at the very end. 